For your homework tonight, one of the things I want you to do is to take a look at this paragraph. I want you to read this set of sentences, and I want you to look at the highlighted words. In your homework, you're going to write in the column for words I already know, any of the highlighted words that you know what they mean. In the second column, you're going to write any of the highlighted words that you don't know what they mean. And in class, we're going to go over this and talk about the words, and you're going to add any words that you learned over here. So stop the video, read this paragraph, or listen to me read it, and then fill out that part of your homework before you go on to example two. Here's the paragraph. For Tim's 13th birthday, he received $150 in cash from his mom. His dad took him to the bank to open a savings account. Tim gave the cash to the banker to deposit into the savings account. The banker credited Tim's new account $150 and gave Tim a receipt. One week later, Tim deposited another $25 that he had earned as allowance. The next month, Tim's dad gave him permission to withdraw $35 to buy a new video game. Tim's dad explained that the bank would charge a $5 fee for each withdrawal from the savings account and that each withdrawal and charge results in a debit to the account. Pause the video, write down the words that you already know the definition of in this column and the words that you're not sure of or have no idea about in this column. In this example, we're taking a look at how two different scales can be represented on the same number line. Over here we have a picture of a thermometer. It's measuring temperature. We use two different scales in the world to measure temperature. Fahrenheit, which is what we use in the United States, and Celsius, which is generally what they use in the rest of the world. You can see that it's like a double number line. For a number over here, we have a corresponding amount on this side. If we look to find the boiling port point of water, which is 100 degrees Celsius, on this scale, we would look at the Celsius side. And if we look for 100 on the Celsius side, we can see it's not on this thermometer. So where would it be located? Here's 50. 100 would be way up here if we continued our scale. So it would be located One hundred degrees Celsius would be located above the top of the scale. On a vertical number line, we want to describe the position of the integer, remember an integer or as a set of whole numbers and their opposites, that represents 100 degrees Celsius. We could say that 100 degrees Celsius would be 100 units above zero. 100 degrees Celsius would be 100 units above zero degrees Celsius. So here is zero degrees Celsius, it would be 100 units above. Our next part asks us to write each temperature as an integer. Okay. Remember an integer is a set of positive and negative whole numbers, whole numbers and their opposites. Temperature shown on the thermometer in degrees Fahrenheit. Well, they want us to show the temperature on the thermometer in degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature on the thermometer is shown by this dark line here. It's sitting right at 100% or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So the temperature shown on the thermometer in degrees Fahrenheit is 100 degrees Fahrenheit or as an integer 100. 
the temperature shown in the thermometer in degrees Celsius is the next thing they ask us. Here on this, at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, that's the same as 38 degrees Celsius. You can see they're counting by twos. 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. So this is 38. Thirty-eight degrees Celsius, or the temperature thirty-eight, or the integer thirty-eight. These two numbers are the same. On our picture, they were right across from each other, like on a double number line. Now it asks us to find the freezing point of water in degrees Celsius. There's the label. Here's an arrow. It's at zero degrees Celsius. So that integer would be zero. If someone tells you your body temperature is 98.6 degrees, what scale is being used? How do you know? Well, if 100 degrees is the boiling point of water, which we saw above, is our body close to how hot boiling water is? So I don't think that we would be using the Celsius scale. This would be the Fahrenheit scale. Whenever we give a response, we need to make, or we make a claim, we need to have a support for it. So the Fahrenheit scale is being used because 98.6 degrees Celsius is close to the boiling point of water. And our bodies are not as hot as that. Okay. And the last question here, does the temperature zero degrees mean the same thing on both scales? Remember, zero here on the scale was the freezing point of water. Here's zero on the Fahrenheit scale. Are they at the same place? Since they're not at the same place, they don't actually represent the same amount of heat. So no. The two zeros are not at the same place and do not represent the same amount of heat.